When it comes to sparring, I believe people try and jump the gun too early. I believe coaches push people in the gym to spar at a time they're not quite ready and then it puts them off mentally from ever getting in the cage or the ring again because potentially they've had a bad experience. If we take learning a new language, let's take French for example, when you're in school. First off, you didn't start off speaking full sentences. You'd learn how to say certain phrases in French, you'd then learn how to say words, you'd then put sentences together, you'd then start moving on to paragraphs. That is the same when it comes to sparring. We've got to have a step-by-step -step structure to make sure we've got a higher chance of success rate. Because you can go in sparring on your first day, but it's probably going to put you off. First thing we're going to work on. We're going to go from top to bottom here. This is just a rough guide. There's obviously things you can put in between this, but this is a rough guide that you can follow if you are wanting to spar and get to a rate where you feel confident in sparring. First one is the stance. This is literally, are you orthodox, are you southpaw? That is how you are going to stand. Once you've got your stance, it's all about the footwork. If you've got crap footwork, you are going to be a crap fighter. This means you've got to nail this down. I still do footwork drills every single session and I'm a professional. So you want to make sure you master this. Next one we're going to go on to is the technique. So we're going to go technique and we're going to go offensive. This can be your basic shots. Jab, cross, hook, uppercut, body shots low kicks, body kicks, head kicks and teeps and these. They're just some basic shots and we're just going to learn them. You're going to learn the single shots. We're not going to put combinations together yet. We are just going to do them as singles. After we've got that, we can then start putting them together as combos. So you've learned the single shots. We then put them together as combos. Now once you know some offensive, we can go on to the defensive. So same again. I'm going to go on to the technique for the defensive side. And then that's going to be singles. So defense for the jab, defense for the cross. I'm just going to go for a few there. Once you get that, you can start putting them together. Combos. That means they can throw two shots and you're going to have to defend both at once. And this is all set drills so you know the shots that are coming. But you need to make sure you can handle this in a lower intensity environment. If you can't handle it at a lower intensity, there is no way you are going to last when it comes to full sparring. Now after that, we're going to go through some situational. This can be they're either going to throw a jab or a cross. You don't know what's coming. Or they're going to throw a hook to the body and a hook to the head. You don't know what's coming. So you have to do some situational defense. So you have to work on your reactions because these two here, number six and number five, you know what shots are coming. It's not gonna be as realistic for sparring. Whereas this one, there's gonna be set rules. I like to do them from two shots. They're either gonna throw a jab or they're gonna throw a cross. They might throw a low kick or they might throw a body kick and you've got to defend accordingly. Number eight, we are gonna go through situational Sparring, I'll spell that one up wrong up there, sparring, so this will be, you're going to do one shot, two shots or three shots, you're going to take it in turn, you go for one, your partner goes for one, so it'll be one for one, or two for two, any two strikes you want, or three for three, any three strikes, any three strikes, taking it in turns, and then once you are comfortable, you can then go on to sparring, if we go through that, you're going to learn your stance, you're then going to learn how to move within that stance and work on your footwork. You're then going to go on to some technique offensively. Learn how to throw your basic punches and kicks and knees. After that, you're going to learn how to put them together, combinations. Once you know that, you can work on your defense, single defenses. So how to defend a jab, how to defend a cross. We're going to learn the technique of that. Once you've got that, we're going to put them together. That means your partner potentially could throw a one-two. They're going to be set combinations. You already know what they're going to throw, but you might be working on your defense on a one-two. Parry, parry, or it might be a one-two-three. Parry, parry, block. 
Once we've got that, we're going to then go on to situational defenses. So now there is a rule set, and that rule set can change depending on what you are particularly trying to work on. But an example could be a hook to the head or a hook to body. You don't know what's coming. Your partner's going to throw. So then you've got to defend accordingly depending on what they throw. Have some sort of rule set in there so it makes your reactions work and it's going to be more realistic for when it gets to sparring. Number eight, we're going to go through situational sparring. That is going to be taken in turns, but you don't know what they're going to throw. I like doing the one to three drill. So they'll either go one for one, two for two, three for three. You can throw any strikes you want, totally up to you. And then once you are on the next level, that is for sparring. I move from level to level when I feel comfortable. If I'm not comfortable at throwing a one, two yet, I'm going to stay on the combos. I'm not going to move to the defensive yet. If I'm comfortable throwing simple combinations, sweet, I can go into the next level. Once I'm comfortable with single defenses, sweet, I can go into combos. Once I'm comfortable, so forth, and then we can go and get to that full sparring rounds, because that is what we're really there for. But having some sort of set structure to follow can be really, really helpful for your progression. Bish, bash, bosh, pow.